Successful older women feel the effects of men checking out of relationships. The fact that successful older women have difficulty finding a man to marry them comes as no surprise to us. Since most successful women will always want to marry a man who is socially or economically at least on the same level as them. That said, hypergamy is undefeated, so these women will find it damn near impossible to marry someone they perceive as beneath them. What they call settling, and as a consequence, we get older successful career women who say they go out and do bad on their own, to which I reply, go on your own. Doesn't matter that they can't find a man. Their careers are sifted from the womanism Kool-Aid by those who sift it. My opinion is that if a woman wants to eat alone with their cats, there's nothing wrong with that, just don't complain about it. Alternatively, if they are unable to find a man above them and they do not want to settle, then go die alone. Men, keep your veins cold because they don't care if you can't get the girl you want. My next point is an article from thepowermoves.com, which outlines why successful women cannot find love. So let's dig in. Women who live successful lives often have difficulties dating. Anecdotal evidence has been abundant of successful women's dating woes. Are you familiar with Jane? She's smart, accomplished, and has a high income, but she can't find and keep a good man. Apparently, there are millions of successful Janes around the world. How can that be? One, her dating pool shrinks the higher she goes. To begin with, let's focus on the most obvious reason. Hypergamy is more prevalent in women than in men. Basically, they prefer men who are better than themselves. As a result, the better she does in life, the less likely she will be to find eligible men who are at her level or above. Contrary to popular belief, average women find it easier to meet attractive dating options than successful women. This article is so far accurate because of hypergamy, women do not want to quote unquote date. In reality, women don't realize that the more money they make, the less men will qualify for them. Women who think the reversal will result in more men being available are simply mistaken. Men with money don't care about how much a woman makes, so the more money they make, the more women they will find available. In other words, the womanist movement has manipulated women into believing they are men and that the same rules apply. Well, clearly, women will never grasp that their success and wealth isn't choosing signals for men. Rather than alpha females or boss bish, we want submissive, cooperative, feminine, sexy, and beautiful women. It's just a fact that they will struggle with dating if most of them don't date down. To continue, a woman wants men who are ahead of her, so the farther she travels, the fewer men she meets. Often, women think their options should increase after they earn a big salary and attend a high-profile college. But the opposite is often true. It's all from preferences. Of course, most women feel that dating less successful men is a form of settling. It's the settling thing that hurts them, and if they can't grasp that supply and demand is why they can't get the men they want. There's no point in trying to fix it. It blows my mind that successful women cannot understand why there are so few men at the top, or why they don't all want women to be there. More people will be at higher levels of economic achievement as one progresses up the scale. It's a simple supply and demand equation. Women will, however, be available to men higher up the economic ladder. Men do not choose women sexually because of their wealth. So why would they settle down with one just because she's wealthy? Do you see what I mean? Now let's continue. Second, female success isn't as attractive as some women think. Ultimately, what men dislike about successful women isn't that they don't like them, but that they hold themselves to lower standards than women. Furthermore, some traits that men value, such as age, submissiveness, and nurturing dispositions, may be antithetical to success. Lastly, men rarely value professional success higher than their own level. Yes, men say they value intelligence and success, and they wouldn't be turned off by them. Yet people's words don't always match up with their actions, even though men say otherwise. They prefer women less than themselves. Women with less intelligence are preferred by some men. In studies, men tend to lose interest in women who are smarter than they, and it's mostly when they feel that they are outsmarted by her. The evolutionary psychologist David Buss says intelligent women are rated low in sexual attractiveness by men who find them to be long-term attractive. It's true that I wouldn't want to date a woman who makes more money than I do, so I agree with that he's saying. My reason for not being intimidated is knowing that if she tells me she makes more money than me, she won't respect my authority as she is economically above me. In this case, I prefer dating women who make less so that I can feel like a provider and a man in my own castle and getting better treatment than if it were the other way around. The modern American woman will be literally broke with a trashy apartment yet treat the man above her as less than. This can't be an issue. Unless they divorce, these women can never compete with your success. It's a good idea for the passport game to leave the US to find women in poorer countries. It's better to go where you're wanted rather than where you're tolerated. Don't marry these women and bring them back home. You'll soon learn how fast they can turn on you. Now let's continue. 
High achieving women tend to scare men. Ambitious women are favored by women, but men do not give them any more points for being ambitious. The fact that ambitious is considered a masculine trait may explain why women hide their ambitions. The lack of hiding one's ambition can cause a woman to be viewed as a gender deviant and can result in losing points. An alpha man prefers kinder women. As a final note, some alpha males do not date alpha females due to potential conflicts over control and the lack of mutual affection. It takes hard work for men to succeed. The kind of woman who helps them unwind is much more appealing than another corporate warrior. Though, they might not be willing to admit it out loud. Men prefer women who are more submissive to begin with, because dominant women require more energy and time to tame. Are there any gentlemen who want to tame women? I would never want another bull to test me constantly. If I were a dominant and successful man, is it possible for a highly ambitious woman to get a hold of my balls on the regular? Men stay away from these types of women for a variety of reasons. It wouldn't be worth it to me. When I want to bust that nasty nut, I want to have someone available. It's not a woman who's too busy to talk to me and for whom I will have to wait until she has finished her work. No way! The BS is over. Anyway, let's proceed. Women who are less dominant are preferable to many men. Men prefer more submissive women, while women prefer more dominant men. Most successful men share this trait, which is why you see tycoons with modest wives. The majority of men prefer women who earn less than they do. Even though time and culture has changed, most people still don't believe her earning more is okay. Statistics show that men tend to marry women with lower incomes. Well, women tend to marry men with higher incomes, if you prefer. It can never be changed by shaming men for wanting older women who are successful. Women who are more feminine are typically dated by highly successful men because they are broke and beautiful. Anyway, let's continue. High quality women are in oversupply. Good men are few and far between, goes the cliche. It sounds cliche, but is it really? The truth is, well, it's not. Successful women don't have to worry about that. Women who are successful have a harder time finding men. It is subjective to define success as well as high quality. However, women are kicking men's asses in many areas that qualify them as high quality. Contrary to what some sources would have you believe, a woman is more educated than a man. For example, over the years, women have increasingly outnumbered men in obtaining college degrees. Due to women's aversion to marrying men with less education, there is a huge quality issue for their dating prospects. It has become easier for women to adapt or settle in recent years. Among highly educated women, however, unmarried and childless rates are rising. As women are becoming more and more educated in the United States, more and more women are beginning to be seen outside of the average man. However, if they want to rack up student loan debt, they will never be able to repay and remain debt slaves for the rest of their lives. They can do so. Feel free to do so. Let ladies become slaves to their corporate careers and stop complaining that there aren't enough men making as much money as they do. Deal with the fact that you are high earners and humble yourselves. College has become unaffordable for men, so they're choosing to work in skills-based and blue-collar jobs in order to make the same or more money as their career women. In spite of this, these men aren't wanted because they are viewed as beneath them due to their lack of college education. I guess ladies will have to die alone. I'm done. It'd be foolish of you to ignore a plumber who makes six figures because he does not work at the corner office in the big skyscraper. The reality is that you'll not receive what you want in the end. Anyone who works hard, such as plumbers, electricians, carpenters, masons, truckers, or contractors, deserve respect. Big ups to those men who show up every day and contribute their expertise to the creation and maintenance of society, if it wasn't for them.